I am sure you must have heard about retrograde planets and most of the times you keep hearing things like they are good or they are better, they are best or they are not so nice or they are the worst, right? They are powerful, they are not powerful, they are, they are, their power is three times more or they are three times better or they are like you know, three times more uh, worse. So what is it? But at the end you have to understand retrograde planets are not that simple to understand which means there is strong pending karma related to those planets. But in your chart, how will you know where is the pending karma? How should you study it? So the pending karma will be related to three houses. It could be two, but in general, it's three. I'll tell you why three. Because every planet that is retrograde will rule two houses and will sit in another house, right? Now, it could sit in one of their own houses. So in that case, there will be two. But in general, it could be three. So minimum two, maximum three. Now you may think, oh, but sun and moon, they rule only one house. And what if they are in their each other's houses? But sun, moon, Rahu, Ketu, they can never be retrograde. <clears throat> All right. So therefore, whenever you are talking of retrograde plants, at least two houses or at max three houses will undergo this karmic exchange. But what kind of karma it is? What kind of pending karma do you have? So that will depend on the houses which it lords as per your ascendant and the house where it is sitting in and to some extent which uh, houses it aspects also. But what kind of karma is it? So that's exactly what we are going to understand today. Otherwise, you will think, oh, retrograde planets are just, you know, some weird uh, entities which, you know, you cannot study, okay? So the first thing is that wherever retrograde planets are and whichever houses they are lording, there will be intense inner reflection. Now, what is intense inner reflection? This is a situation where they will encourage you to introspect. So, for example, if you have a retrograde planet in your 10th house, you will think more than you should about your career. You may sometimes not feel confident about taking steps, not because you are not capable, but you want perfection or you are thinking too much, basically. So... It can give you deep introspection. It can push individuals to constantly reevaluate, which is not bad. Uh, it can be good if the overall chart is good. If the overall chart is good, the person will give one step front, then back, front, back, front, back legs. But if the chart is not good, they will only want to be on the back foot. They will not come and take leadership because they fear. Okay, So that's why it depends on the overall chart. And then, of course, in terms of pending karma, this can revolve... Uh, around your bosses or you know your job your colleagues so if you have a retrograde plant in your 10th house very important that you maintain good relationships with people and sometimes you know certain things can happen where somebody in your workplace you know may do things which you may not like because they are giving you your pending karma all right number two is you might want to you know revisit your uh, past experiences so it can happen that if you have retrograde planets, like say in your Artha house, like 2nd, 6th or 10th, you may uh, start doing something and you may leave it and again after some years, you may come back. So for example, you were into uh, software and then you went to uh, do MBA and then later on you again come back to software engineering. It can be like that. Uh, therefore, resurfacing of old things and old patterns can happen. So if you have retrograde planets in your Artha house, then... You, if your mind is telling you in the dasha of the retrograde plan that maybe you should try something which you are doing before, then don't dismiss it. You know, try to uh, try to give it a shot basically. And there could be you know some unfinished karma or business because of which you are coming back and you are doing the same thing. It can be with you know if your fifth lord is retrograde or a retrograde plan is in your fifth house, you may keep bumping into your ex partners always. You know, so this shows <coughs> the karma is not yet completed you know it, it's like uh, it's not zero basically either it's plus or minus so if your karma is plus people come and give you good things if it is minus they will come and take all the good things from you either they will take your money or they'll uh, or they'll take your mental peace one of the two then there could be delayed progress in the areas this is number three so if you have a retrograde planet in your seventh you know there could be delays in your marriage or maybe you find a part person who want, who you decide to get married with, but then what happens is you, for some reason, you cannot get married. You know, there is some weird problem which is coming. And because of that, you know, the progress is slow there. Or the person you want to marry 
or you are in a relationship may not want to marry you so you are thinking you know should i marry this person should i even uh, take it further because this person does not want to give me a commitment so these things can happen and from a karmic standpoint there could be things which require you know balancing you know for example maybe you are expecting too much so you have to lower your expectations you know so these kind of things could happen and number four this is very important Wherever there is a retrograde planet or whichever houses it's lording, you will have enhanced intuition in regards to those houses. Which means, suppose you have retrograde planet in 7th house, then you will somehow know that, you know, something is wrong in the marriage. You know, mm, maybe my spouse is not like happy with me or I'm not happy. Something, something or the other is not right. Your intuition will tell you that very, very, very clearly. Okay, so... If you have a retrograde planet in a particular house and your intuition is telling you that, you know, something is not right, you know, don't dismiss it, don't ignore it. And in that context, you know, you should take guidance from people who are watching you always, who are senior to you. So, you know, they can kind of help you to uh, elevate your uh, bad karma you know, because they can guide you in your intuition. They can tell you. If your intuition is correct or not, you know, you're a very good well-wisher friend or, you know, some senior or the best person to tell you is your guru basically. Okay, so number five, there could be reassessment of relationships related to those houses. So now, you know, seventh house is your relationship with your spouse. But what if you have a retrograde planet in your fourth house? So then you will constantly keep reassessing your relationship with your mother. You know, every house in astrology shows some person, right? So... <clears throat> so whichever person that house shows or those houses indicate you will kind of keep reassessing your relationship and there could be some childhood trauma that you faced and which kind of shaped your behavior you know for example if your retrograde planet is in third house you might have a rocky relationship you might have had a rocky relationship with your siblings when you were uh, growing up but now maybe your relationship has improved, especially after you are, you know, 30s, 35 or later. And then you are wondering, you know, should I keep contact with them or should I not? You know, should I become more close or what? So that confusion, that reassessment is going on. Okay. So when you are reassessing, then understand that uh, you are learning more about the karmic ties and you are kind of, you know, trying to balance out things. So that's very very essential wherever uh, you have a retrograde planet wherever and whenever because a retrograde planet may sometimes force you to think in terms of black and white okay so for example this person is all good this person is all bad so you might keep dancing from one extreme to the other so try not to do it and then you will see retrograde planets are doing amazing for you number six there could be inner turmoil and growth so for example if your retrograde planet is in the fifth house there could be inner turmoil like you know oh i love this person i love that person or maybe should i love this person this person does not love me back so some confusion is there you are thinking maybe they like you or they think you like them <laughs> so it's like a confusing situation right so <clears throat> so because of this what happens is they can steer a lot of internal conflict so Wherever there is a retrograde planet in whichever house, in that house you need to come into, you need to come uh, with peace. You, know? you need to come in peace with yourself basically. Which means suppose you have a retrograde planet in 10th house and you are making progress in one domain of your career or, or let's say your overall career. But for some reason you are not able to excel that much as you want. So you have to come to peace with yourself that maybe that's not going, going to happen or not as soon as I want. So come into peace with yourself and by that you will resolve, you know, unnecessary, you know, karmic complications or lessons and, you know, and by that you will foster spiritual development, which is very important. So number seven, wherever you have retrograde planets, there could be hidden talents and strengths also. There could be weaknesses also. Okay, so for example... If your 8th lord is retrograde or retrograde planet in 8th house, you may have tremendous control over your sexuality or you may be you may be like a womanizer. You have no control. Okay. So which means it could be the other extremes. Or 
Retrograde planet in the fifth house can also give the same. You know, fifth house is the house of love. So you are having too many love affairs. You are like, you don't know where your love life is going. It can happen. Or it can make you extremely creative and it can make you over dedicated to one spouse sometimes on the other hand. So what about this over dedication? Over dedication is like your spouse is abusing you, cheating on you, insulting you, torturing you. But you still end up staying with them because you have some, you know, for you, your, you know, spouse is like this, you know, godly figure who can never do wrong. So that is the other extreme where you give over commitment or you give commitment to somebody who has not given you back uh, the commitment from their side. So this is another problem. Okay, so try to balance it out. <clears throat> Number eight. So wherever there's a retrograde planet, you will always reevaluate your goals and your aspirations. So whenever you have a retrograde planet in a particular house, you may ask yourself, is it worth desiring this much for this house? Or maybe sometimes you may think, am I desiring too less? So for example, if there's a planet in your 10th, which is retrograde, you may do something and you may get some results and then you may wonder, should I move ahead or not? So therefore whenever you have short term or long term goals if you are confused because of the retrograde plan so you should always understand that you should try to reevaluate with some expert in that domain so for example in 10th house you can talk to a career counselor or uh, you may be confused with finances if it is in the second sixth tenth you know? so for example where should I put my money? Should I put it in a stock, crypto, real estate, bonds or FD or whatever? So that kind of confusion can be there. And you may be confused. Okay, short term, what should I do? Long term, what should I do? Five year, 10 year, 20 year plan. So take advice if necessary. Okay, don't just uh, hover around superficially. That's not good. Number nine, wherever there is a retrograde plan, you can have intense desire of some healing or maybe there's requirement of intense healing in that area. This is very critical because retrograde plants can create an environment where you need to heal yourself, heal your past wounds or maybe it's very difficult. Nonetheless, there could be a requirement or you might want to heal other people in that area of life. So, for example, if you have a retrograde plant in seventh, maybe that you have seen a lot of you know trauma in your marriage and all this. Now you want to heal other people who are married. So, some... Some healing aspect is there and the more you heal others, you know, the more uh, good karma you are accumulating for yourself, all right? And number 10, uh, this is probably the best and one of my favorites. Retrograde planet, wherever he is placed, he will give you very high awareness. Why? Because you are thinking all the time, right? So a planet, if retrograde in, you know, the lagna, the person will be very aware of what the person is doing, what the person is looking like, what other people are thinking about him. So one tip I can give you at the end, whenever you have some problem in life, so check which houses that problem represents. So suppose you have a problem with your profession. So within your friend circle, try to find somebody who has a retrograde planet either in 2nd, 6th or 10th. Because that person is very conscious about how to make progress in career, how to get more money, how to, you know, get promotion. So that person can actually guide you. Even if that person is not your colleague or not in your company, maybe you find that person online, you know, random somewhere. It could be a relative or colleague, friend, anybody. Somebody in your circle will be there, right? Who will have a retrograde planet in their Artha houses. So then that person can help you. Provided that person is also putting efforts, all right? So don't just uh, go in randomly. And this should be checked from the Bhav Chalit chart, not from the Lagna chart. This is something I should have said in the beginning, all right? So I hope this helps you to understand retrograde planets and you can actually figure out and decipher for yourself how that energy will be impacting you, all right? So if you're new, then don't forget to subscribe below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and comment below your retrograde planet. And for consultations, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you to get freedom from confusion, which comes with retrograde plans. All right. Thank you so much. Please take care.